today I am going to teach how to brush simply and in a good way so let me show you how to do it it's a very easy and simple way you don't need to use uh, different kind of methods in which uh, your teeth will have and gums will have a recession and teeth will have a erosion or any kind of other complications so i have as as you can see i have a model so let me show you this is the brush and i will remove it <coughs> So here we are for your upper and lower jaw you need to do what you will use your brush for outer layer from it's up to you either you use right side or either you use left side so I will start from the right side so we could use this one from up to down flicking motion like this let me show you like this for all the teeth one by one but better if you will do if you will hold the posterior teeth for 10 times flicking motion one two three four five six seven eight nine ten similarly ahead going ahead ten times and then ten times and then ten times either we could use a rotatory motion like this but do not use back and forth motion for the teeth like this this is a wrong technique in which your gums will recede and your teeth will have a tree have abrasion so better to use a little bit circular motion and flicking from out from in to out circular motion for for all the teeth and then flicking for each and every teeth circular circular motion and then flicking circular motion and then flicking circular motion and then flicking similarly when once you complete 10 times like this or either circular motion and flicking from <coughs> right to left or either left to right outer it's done outer jaw so now you will go you will do for the inner side similar you will use the circular motion like circular motion from out from in to out circular motion out for your anterior teeth you will do also like this from in to out in to out also into out into out circular motion into out same way right to left or either left to right same same way and then for the lower also it will be the same circular motion and then flicking from down to up circular motion then flicking circular motion then flicking similarly uh, for the inner lower jaw you will use like this flicking flicking 10 times each and every teeth 10 times so it will take only three to four three to four to five minutes maximum and if you want to do it combinedly you will do like this circular motion for every teeth sorry the, the brush is small in the teeth the model is a little bit bigger so you could use the same and then done the next thing is uh, flossing so for the flossing we will use a floss like this you could buy it it's a uh, 
which one wax waxed floss so you could buy another kind also there is no problem so just we need to do it what we will usually we do what usually we use the floss maybe once a week so it's better if you are eating in your food in your diet if you are eating specially meat any kind of meat you have to do flossing and then if you do <coughs> flossing twice a week or after every second day it's also better after brushing or during brushing or before brushing before brushing and during brushing is much better so it will remove the inter it will remove the food debris and uh, plaque from your interdental area like like uh, inside between the two teeth there is a gap natural gap so it will maintain your hygiene well so we need to remove a floss let's suppose i will get you need to get it by like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen because uh, we have almost 28 teeth so it will be for 28 teeth you will make uh, 28 knots so almost i get more than 28 how we will use it like this so similarly i will show mostly the food debris and uh, black sticks to your lower teeth lower lingual side and buccal side of your upper teeth so how we will use it we will use it like this for example this is your teeth i make uh, all the knots in my right side and then index finger and i will use a left index finger i will make one or either two knots just to hold it so we will do how similarly we could start it from the same plate same uh, area as as you like like one two and i will do like like this i will insert it here i will press it it will go inside let me show you how like this just wait sorry let's pause this is the first teeth i want to do it so i make two knots and then i will use my for to press the floss i will use my thumb so i will put the floss in in between the teeth and i will press it it goes inside and then I will not push totally because it will make a traumatic injury to your gum. So we will just gently press it so that it goes between the teeth and we will make it in and out. In and out. And then we could push it out. Then once it done for one teeth, you need to make on your left side one knot and then release the other knot again for the second teeth we will press it out and in out and in and then again we will remove make another knot and release the other side again we will press it see like this out and in out and in again we will remove it make a knot or next teeth your you could do it by molar or either you could divide it into four part arch like this vertical and horizontal so we will divide it into two four right lower right upper right upper left lower left so similarly we will use like click out in out then make a knot release the knot out and in again remove make a knot release a knot we will complete this one until 
from right to left or either left to right it's so easy just for just to know for example i did it here let me show you like this out in out in out in and just i remove like this so the area between the teeth here inside it will be clean as you can see it will be clean and then we will make a knot and we will release from the other side so this is the way even for the lowers we could do the same i will use the new for each and every teeth you have to use the extra not the used area remove the new and press it like this and then out in out remove it just like that you will complete so this is the way we use we have to use the floss and we have to brush the teeth and if we use the mouthwash any kind like uh, chlorexidine it's good it will give a fresh breath to your with mint flavor it will give a fresh breath and it will maintain your oral hygiene and uh, the gums will be healthy so this is all thank you so much please watch and subscribe my channel thank you so much